What's on today's agenda? The agenda is that you sit your ass down and listen. It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the Torchheads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! You go ahead, partner. I need... to write this report, and there's something else I need to do first. This city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. Please keep the noise down. You're scaring off my customers. Can't hear you. Music's too loud. Good evening. Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We need nothing wrong.
The music is too loud. My sound sensor measures 126 decibels. You are damaging your ears as we speak. Oh man, don't talk to me like that. I don't understand numbers. Nothing wrong, you say. I say, nothing wrong in breaking criminal bones. Maybe we should all practice what we preach. I don't know if there's something wrong with this beer or if listening to this silver nutcase made me sober up. Come on, man. Let's bail. Thanks, officer. You piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? School may seem now like a difficult option, but it will pay off in the future. <laughs> future? Look on the street. You must have a microwave for a brain if you think that.
¿Qué onda, Dino? ¿Cómo estamos? A ver, carta de negocios. Sot, socio, desde hace poco tus hombres se han empezado a comportar de manera, digamos, inusual. Se cuestionan entre sí sobre el significado de ser un auténtico torchhead, como si buscaran a un traidor. Pero es imposible que haya eso en una organización criminal, también gestionada como la tuya. Probablemente se pregunten por qué no asoma ningún poli desde tu espectáculo en vivo, que por cierto fue la bomba. Deberían saber que los polis le tienen miedo. Esa clase de enfrentamientos internos son malos para el negocio. A lo mejor podrían hablar con ellos, solo para la productividad que siga fluyendo tu humilde socio. Vista conseguida. Brindar con rasgos de lubricantes para bisagras y revelante para el caso. Incorrecto de sustancia bioactiva. Tu body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero. So, all right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? a revisar más si sí, pues así se escuchaba yo me acuerdo super alto el sonido te quedabas sordo cuando entrabas y luego salías Open the door. a ver espera You piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there? And we'll no sé se eso. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Que le prometí repetir el capítulo, ¿sí? Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Droga? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag. But if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? Children should not skip school. It is important for them to attend every single class. I stop listening after should. 
amazing colors and there's not one but two of you from now on I promise I will cherish you more often your body readings suggest substance misuse oh man a real like TJ laser you are so incredibly shiny I'm definitely getting more of this stuff who sold you drugs I really shouldn't say but you are my TV hero, so... All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you. As long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke. But I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Surrender your weapons. No chance! Pues de una maquinita de las tortugas, ¿no? Piérdete. Dile a los compradores que dejen de inventarse nombres para el Nook. Nada de doble queso, tita, N. Salsa picante, ataúd rojo, no sé qué, joder. Están provocando que mi gente se confunda. Eso es malo para el negocio. Los maderos no pueden hacer una mierda, así que no hace falta hablar de enclave. Estos junkies o compran Nook o no compran nada. Tu encantador jefe superestrella, S.
Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! Have it your way. Pues las pelis salieron en el 80, pero sí hablaban de un futuro, ¿no? Tura de instalación. Busca pistas. Demasiados policías patrullando en el lugar. No vayan antes de que hable el confidente de la policía. Orden de SOT. El proceso de desintoxicación ha debilitado al traidor. Usa NUC manipulado para espabilarlo. Casa encantada. Bajando la calle junto a las vías del tren. En el 2028.
I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX-6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like. But can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? I can come back with a warrant, but then I will not be knocking. You think that's going to scare me? This is Detroit, for God's sake. People try to threaten me nearly every day. I do not try. You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. Estas habilidades también para que seas mejor buscando cosas. Lo ha vuelto a hacer. Ven, mañana no estaré, pero esto no puede esperar. Creo que Scott vuelve a estar metido en esto. Quieres ayudar al muchacho que nos ayudaste a mí y a los demás, lo entiendo. Pero yo sigo con la condicional y no puedo involucrarme con movidas legales. Y a Scott, eso le importa una mierda. Le viste escondiendo algo en su taquilla. Mira todo el rato por encima del hombro, como si estuviese guardándose los radios robadas. Más te va a echar un ojo, al igual nos metemos en un lío. ¿Te acuerdas de la película de Silvestre Stallone que congela y se despierta en el futuro? Sí. ¿Cómo se llamaba? No me acuerdo, pero sí recuerdo la peli. Parece un kit, ¿no? See, I've told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my workers' private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning, when two thugs swang by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. 
I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back? It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle, and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. God, I messed up good. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's gonna fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit. It was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God! It must be those thugs! We're dead! No one is going to save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Hello? Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty boy? You can only have... Oh, shit. It's Look the out! Man. It's the team! You think you can take us? You did it! 
They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs. They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. Fiction mean? And who's a deck collector? Evening, officer. Why can't I open the door for him? Dad, tell me the truth. Are we poor? Dad? Dad! Tired of your kids asking annoying questions? You just want to relax after a long day of work, but. Someone won't let you. Are we going to be okay? Dad, I'm scared.
I can't believe you've actually done it! Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. Proceeding to secure the perimeter. Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much! I promise I won't mess this up! Bien, ya seré más estricto. You need to be taught some manners.
no me hago daño al cañón. Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. And my service is free. No, of course not. You're right. You <laughs> did save my skin. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, a good business is where you find it.
Ah, it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangsters' paradise dressed in blue. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke, and when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee. That sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you owe me now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people, and I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Like steal a watch? Like steal a watch. This is it. Deep breath. Let's do this. You first. Uh -huh. Robocop. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you gonna steal? Huh. Funny you should say that. 
can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you can tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction, that that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me, but maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles? That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. So do the Earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it, like, time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. not here. Maybe these guys saw him? Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players look bad. 
That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Noticias independientes 14. Este es en este número. Marketing extraterrestre. Se está grabando otro anuncio plagado de mensajes subliminales tras el juzgado. No volverían a engañarnos. El río cada vez más sucio. No es más que una historia que nos estaban vendiendo para alimentar a los monstruos que habitan para su, bajo su superficie. Señales. Habitantes interestelares pintan su nombre en los edificios cercanos a la lavandería, así que apropian de toda la ciudad a menos que los detengamos. Todos soplones. <risa> oh, man, are we really jaywalking? That's a hundred dollar fine. Huh. I guess we're conducting an investigation. Daniel! Come on, kid! Where are you? You should be somewhere around. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his. So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like new. They threw out the chalk here. Must have found something more interesting. What about over there? No, it is locked. They did not go inside. What the fuck? That was close. We'd better hurry. Do it. Come on. And him. What are you waiting for? Fuck him up. He's laughing at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no. It's the cops. I don't want to go to jail for this shit. Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. 
I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say- Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on, sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I had to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. This is where Soot is supposed to be hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit rude he forgot about us. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. 
Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. Let's head up those stairs. cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> go ahead, partner. Oh, the stench. Someone missed potty training. Nuevo rey, parece que estamos enfrentando el nacimiento de un nuevo emporio de la droga. Aunque Caín, señor de la droga y creador del Nook, ha muerto y su culto ha disuelto, se ha disuelto, las fábricas de esta estupefaciente siguen funcionando, mientras el Nook sigue devastando las calles de Detroit. Parece que alguien ha suce sucedido a Caín. La cuestión es quién ha sentado el trono del rey de la droga y qué van a hacer las autoridades municipales y la policía al respecto. Más en la página 5. If Sid is such a great performer, shouldn't there be a big line in here? Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing. was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Yes. I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, shit! Pig found our lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps. Murphy discovered a Torchhead's nuke lab at the old slaughterhouse. Multiple subjects were neutralized, but there are still active threats in the vicinity, gang leader included. Requesting backup. Mm. 
Let's hurry up. They probably know we're here. The way they handle those drugs, I doubt they know where they are. Another locked door. I'm going to call this probable cause. No need for a warrant. They're all yours, partner. Okay there, Murphy? Behind you! 
up you get, big man. They're closing in on us. I'm invincible! sobre el asunto preocupante, si encontramos a alguien en el personal del laboratorio conseguimos más de cuatro dosis de nuke por turno, subido en las cintas transportadoras, trabajando sin la mascarilla, será severamente castigado con un día de desintoxicación, va muy en serio. Lewis, wait! Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact.
Snowball decided to join us. Now the real show is about to go down. If you're a real torch head, shoot that motherfucking tin can till it fucking rattles. And I'll take this opportunity to moisturize these golden vocal cords. But stay right there, everybody. Concentrate. I can still. This can't be. I had everything lined up perfectly. Let us talk. Stay the fuck away. You can't touch me. I do business with the new guy. You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me. Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant! Then, get ready for a meltdown. If you think you're gonna get anything out of the torch head's top dog, that's quite a grip you got there! Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> Knock yourself out! That's not even mine! Stuff doesn't come cheap! No! That was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal! I fucking hate you! I'll never rest until every pig in Detroit is dead! Oh, screw you, bastard! That is not a way to treat a famous person! That's enough! I'll talk!
Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Um, why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. Well, I need some flu. I take noob, noob, noob. Everywhere I look, I see noob, noob, noob. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Now, me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? What's wrong? Piggy scared of a meat hook? <laughs> Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Oh, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot, short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. That's a rider you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so, I think it's time to get back to business. <sighs> you fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. <laughs> Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But, thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, 
When I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switching back on already. Lewis! Whoa, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not gonna happen. Instead, you're gonna go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny. In that, you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? It is irrelevant how comfortable I am. It all contributes to your overall performance. I understand this is not an ideal situation and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I am not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. Robocop is the name I was given. If that is what you prefer, then Robocop it is. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences, but I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I am a machine, built using OCP's finest technology with the brain of a fallen officer, Alex Murphy. The best money can buy, from what I hear. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports what I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No. Not at all. 
It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand. You must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. And Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear malfunctioning machines? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Robocop. All done. Robo, there's something I need to show you. I know that OCP can be a real pain in the ass, but this might change your mind a bit. We've been working behind the scenes on giving your sidearm the treatment it deserves. The Auto 9 can now be equipped with a motherboard. Once the motherboard is in, you'll be able to mount a number of processors on it. Each processor can vastly improve your aim, damage, or stability. See for yourself. Ahí va, ahí va. Mejoras para auto 9. Inserta un chip en una ranura vacía de la placa base. Los chips tienen diferentes tipos de conexiones y niveles de mejora. Usalos para alimentar otras áreas del sistema y actualizar tu auto 9. Evita los componentes reductores rojos que rebajan las estadísticas del arma. Cada placa base tiene una especialización, diseño y ventajas no pueden haber activado más de una placa base. Pasina de cargador, a ver. Fuente de alimentación. Be on the lookout. There's OCP tech in everything. You wouldn't believe how many useful processes can be salvaged from old devices. Okay, that's it from me. Becker wants to see you. He's taken over Reed's office. Say what you want about the man, but that takes guts. No sé qué hice.
Now for something positive. The daughter of Jens Danielsen, Prime Minister of Norway, who was brutally murdered during last year's parliamentary session. Is Any news on Luis? Not yet. But she's been through worse. Don't think too much about it. You know you're right. We should stay strong and focused. Información de seguro médico, asistente médico, CP, Detroit, estimado gente Kurt. Respuesta a la solicitud, tenga en cuenta una retirada anticipada, supone la rescisión del seguro médico que les cubre a usted y a su esposa. Sin posibilidad de prolongación. En atención a su esposa y dado que ella utiliza activamente el paquete de tratamiento oncológico, le recomendamos seguir trabajando en el tiempo que le corresponda. Atentamente, Clara Break. Murphy, do you have a minute? Did you say Lewis? Yeah. Me and a bunch of guys decided to sign this get well card for her. I figured that you'd want to sign it as well. A get well card? Yeah, I know it's... It's just that we want to let her know we're with her. I would like to sign it. Uh, thanks, Murphy. I knew you'd understand. Actually, there are a few signatures that we still need. Could you ask them? I think I need a break. I had to start. Kowalski is hiding somewhere in the lobby. Understood. I didn't see you there, Murphy. What are you doing here, officer? Nothing much. Just trying to collect my thoughts. Would you sign the get well card for Lewis? I am supposed to get it signed and then pass it on to another officer. Uh, yeah, sure thing. That's a great idea. There you go. Signed. But could you pass it along to another officer? I... I think I'd like to stay here for a little bit longer. Understandable. Take your time. Thanks, Murphy. Kurtz hasn't signed it yet. He was in the locker room last time I saw him. I am looking for Officer Kurtz. He's in the shower. Actually, he's been in there for half an hour. As he My heat signature recognizes that the water is cold. Is everything all right, Officer Kurtz? Oh, uh, you talking to me? Yeah, I guess I stayed here longer than I anticipated. I have a card to sign. It is for Lewis. Uh, uh, I'd love to sign it, but uh, I don't want to get it wet. Uh, could you grab my towel for me? Uh, yellow one. Uh, it should be by my locker. Okay. Camaradas de Azul y Ramírez, te he dejado el uniforme en la taquilla con todos los agujeros de bala bien cosidos. 
De nada, pero si vuelvo a oírte llamarte abuelita tejedora, vas a oír de patrulla en bragas. Just uh, give me a minute. There, signed. Uh, I think that it's beautiful what you're doing. You are shivering. Yeah, I was lost in my thoughts. Didn't notice that I used up all the hot water. Thinking about Lewis. Yeah, but I can't imagine what you're thinking. She's your partner. Speaking of partner, I see that O'Neill hasn't signed a card yet. Uh, be a good guy and get it to her, okay? Uh, she's at the range. She'll yell at me if she finds out there was a card for Lewis and she didn't get to sign it. I will make sure that happens. everything all right? I think my service weapon ain't calibrated right. I could perform a check for you. Yeah. Okay. Give it a go. I guess you don't have any problems with it. Your service weapon is calibrated correctly. Yeah, I guess so. What is the matter? I can't lie. I wanted to come here and blow off some steam, but my hands are shaking thinking about Lewis. Officer. It's just that if it happened to you, it could have happened to any one of us. Lewis is one tough cookie. She'll pull through, I'm sure of it. But I'm not so sure I could say the same thing about my partner. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make it about me. It is difficult. Is there anything I can do for you? You can sign this Getwell card for Lewis. Sure thing. There you go. <laughs> Almost everyone's already here. That says a lot about her impact on all of us. There's only one person missing, Sergeant Reed. He's in the garage. Have a minute. I noticed you running around the precinct. I am collecting signatures on a get well card for Lewis. I know. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I ride everyone hard, and they probably see me as a drill sergeant. And maybe they think that I do it because I don't care. But I do care for each and every one of you. And what I'm trying to say is that I... I... I'd like to sign that card, if you let me. We are a family, 
You should sign it. Everyone's here already. Lewis, she made an impact. We've got to get the ones that did that to her. That is my intention. Right. Keep the card. She should get it from you. Thank you, Murphy. Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Becker. Uh, you are very determined. I must have seen your application like 20 times. I assumed they were getting lost in the mail. Huh, that didn't stop you, did it? You're persistent and capable, too. Highest marks on all the written tests? Pretty much an ideal candidate. Aside from the fact that you don't meet any of the physical requirements, that's actually remarkable. Short stuff. Unfortunately, sir. Why is being a cop so important to you? My father was a police officer, and his father was one too. A uh, police family, huh? It must be heartbreaking not to be able to continue a family tradition. You know, I have the power to look the other way and make you a cop despite your... shortcomings. In exchange, I only ask for one thing. Your complete loyalty. And maybe a touch of gratitude as well. Will I still get a badge? Like a proper police officer? Badge? Oh yeah, sure. Then Officer Washington is reporting for duty. Good. There you go, youngin. Is... Is that blood? We don't make a badge for every new officer. We just reassign the old ones after cops retire. Or die. R Robocop. I'm a big fan. Well, that's great, because you'll be spending a lot of time together. Meaning? Aside from his regular dispatch duty, Officer Washington will become your personal overseer. Overseer? Yes, you will report to me on his every action. Hopefully that will prevent him from continuing to tarnish his already murky reputation. His recent behavior casts a shadow on OCP, and we can't have that. That's a lot of responsibility for a rookie. Every other cop refused this post. But you won't. You wouldn't jeopardize your career, right? Uh, no, sir. I would like to proceed with my investigation, now that we know that the new guy is Wendell Antonowski. Was he even listening to anything I've been saying? Absolutely fucking not. You're off the case. Actually, you're off all cases. There's a bunch of documents that need archiving in the records room. That's your priority now. Understood. Now go. I'll tell Achilles about what's what in this godforsaken place. It's Ulysses, sir. Hey, first rule, kiddo. Never question your superiors. Hi, Murphy. I was told you'd come to help me. This is... What seems to be the problem? Uh, Mr. Becker wants you to do some maintenance work, so, you know, please scan the servers, see if they're operating properly. I'm sure they are, but he insisted I found a job here for you. Yeah, I wish I had something more exciting for you to do, since for me, this is where all the action happens. Explain. With this wealth of information at your fingertips? This records room should be a real hotbed of activity. Others don't seem to know how fun it is to dig through all this stuff. You can play a real-life detective here. Officer Cecil, you are a detective. Yeah, but mostly just a paper pusher. So, if one wanted to find out the whereabouts of a particular criminal, what would one do? That's easy. Just check the computer in the back. 
Type in who you're looking for and see if there are any matches. Uh, j just remember to scan the servers at some point. Mr. Becker will blow his top if I don't make sure you checked him. Working perfectly. I'm telling you, this is incredible. Just type in your search. He's never been charged? Well, that's hard to believe. There's a, a neat feature you can try. See who attempted to access his file before you did. Maybe that'll help us. Officer Briggs. Briggs? That must be the last lead that he checked before going missing. So his case led him to the Street Vultures territory? Maybe those two cases are connected after all. I'll have to report this to Sergeant Reed. And I am on my way. There's nothing I can say to stop you, is there? No. Well, then instead I'll say, go kick ass for Lewis. Perfect working condition. I am detecting a malfunction. This server is compromised. Good thing you noticed it. It could lead to the loss of important data. I'll make sure Mr. Becker knows what a tremendous job you did here. We need to be on guard. OCP is trying to smuggle more of their staff into our ranks. You're right. We can't trust them. God knows what sort. Let's stay sharp. Thank you.